I can try to gesture higher. <laughs> Hi everyone and welcome to this week's ICRT vlog. This is our 27th edition. This is our <laughs> this is our 28th edition and we are very excited to be joining you again today. For this week there have been a lot of really exciting and excellent stories for the vlog, but of course we picked the best. Um, the first one being that Michelin has released or it's teasing its upcoming release of the 2019 Michelin Guide Taipei. The Michelin Guide basically is a picking of the best restaurants, what Michelin considers the best restaurants in Taipei. The list is separated into the Michelin stars list and then the Bib Gourmand list. Gourmand, Gourmand, you know. Okay, anyway, that list is what we're talking about today because Michelin has released a simplified list and it's a tease for what's coming up in the Bib Gourmand list. These restaurants, 12 new restaurants, they are going to be on the Bib Gourmand list to be released later this year. So Michelin says these restaurants are in the list because they offer good quality for good value cooking. The 10 of the restaurants out of the 12 are appearing in Michelin for the very first time on the Big Bourmont list. They include all kinds of cuisines. There's Taiwanese cuisine, there's Sichuan, si Sichuan cooking, there's Indian cooking, all kinds of cuisines. Four of the new entrants to the list offer Taiwanese cuisine. Some of these you may know. One of these is Mother's Kitchen in Shiling District and they offer the quintessential satisfying like warm your heart kind of Taiwanese comfort food. Another one is A Chen Gu in Zhongshan District. They have been around for a long time and they are famous for serving their goose steamed or smoked. I've heard that the smoked version is their like signature dish. Another one is Mai Mian Dan Zai in Da Dao Chen, also in Taipei of course. They have been around for over 80 years. This is like a legit Taiwanese institution. They are of course famous for their noodles but they're also famous for their side dishes like their crispy fried pork. So you can go check that out. For the complete list you can check out the Michelin website, the complete list of the Michelin star restaurants as well as the Bib Gourmet that will be released on April 10th. For our second story this week, if you live in Taiwan, you have or you do use Line. It's an app for instant messaging and a bunch of other things. One of the things about Line that's fun is that you can send a lot of stickers. The stickers are very expressive or they have sounds or they move. Well, one of the newest, most popular sticker sets in the Line store that you can purchase is I don't know how to describe it. It's basically tissue paper. The name is I Am Tissue Paper. It's a set of 40 stickers. All 40 of them are rolled up tissues, hopefully not used, no background, you know, no animation, no sound effects, no words, no nothing, no text. Rolled up tissues, 40 differently rolled tissues. Um, it actually hit number one in the line, uh, like creator stickers, the, the original creator stickers ranking. The last time I checked, just before recording this show, it was number five. Hit the top is coming down a bit, but still very popular. Okay, now this sticker set is so popular, and of course it's not free. We assume it's making some money, so of course there's going to be a ton of imitators springing up. There are a whole series of tissue paper stickers. Some of these tissue paper pieces are rolled up into different shapes. Some of them are words, some of them are smiley faces, so they're very expressive. And now you may ask yourself, how would you use, like, rolled up tissue? What kind of situation would you use that in? A lot of netizens in Taiwan are coming up with suggestions. It's actually a lot easier to use than you think. If somebody is really upset about something, you can say, oh, I feel so bad for you, you know, I'm comforting the person, and then you send them the rolled up tissue to... I don't know, wipe their tears away? I don't know. If you see somebody really attractive or see something really hot, you can also say, well, you know, you need a tissue for your nosebleed. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> now I'm going to turn it over to my fellow newscaster, Philip Broussard, who is going to give you our last story for the week. Ciao! Hello, so I'm Philip Broussard. You haven't seen me here before. This is my first time doing the vlog. The story I'm bringing is from Apple Daily, it happened out in Kaohsiung. When I was reading about this, it made me think about my mom. So hopefully it'll make you guys all feel happy too. What happened was there's this construction site in Kaohsiung, and they have the these 
those containers that they need to move and put on the ships. The crane was coming in to take the containers away. Suddenly this dog comes running out in front of the crane, barking and barking, and she plants herself down. The crane can't go over and move the box. So all the workers, they're looking around, they're like, I don't understand what she's doing, right? And then they get down on their hands and knees and they see that there's actually some puppies underneath. And they're so young that they still need to like get their milk from the mother. They call the help from the animal control and they come in and they take the nets and they pull them all out. They're, they're healthy, they're okay. And they took them to the uh, to the vet and the vet is taking care of them. It's just really cute. Um, it's not quite Mother's Day. Mother's Day? When's Mother's Day? Mother's Day? Mayish. The animals are now, they're all at the vet. The vet says because they're so young, they still need to give them milk and just look after them a bit. But after that, they're going to wean them. And then, you know, anybody in Kaohsiung can go maybe uh, take one of these babies home. When you go home, go give your mom a hug and say thanks for Stop in the crate. Okay, so that does it for all our stories this week. Just want to remind you that we still have the 40th anniversary concert coming up. Tickets are still available. You can get them at 7-Eleven and Family Mart. The link is in the description of the video down below. Thanks for listening to the ICRT vlog. See you next time.